What's good, y'all? You dub back here again, back at it again in 2019. Now I have one subscriber. <sighs> in a comment, ask if I would do a video on my favorite protagonist from anime and manga. And I'm sitting here going, yeah, I can do that. I was thinking about doing that. There's a reason I haven't done it. Now... <laughs> The thing is, that's damn near impossible. Nearly impossible. It really is. Now, I talk about my favorite characters in fiction history, my favorite characters in anime and manga. When it comes to the protagonist, let me just tell y'all why this is damn near impossible. I can tell y'all, like, my top. You got my favorite character in anime and manga history is Son Goku. My second favorite is Shrine Monkey D. Luffy. I may do lists of, of that. It's continuously changing, so it's a little bit difficult. Um, like I know my top five in fiction history, but um, my list my list for top ten on both is it's kind of difficult. But I, I know those two. Then the the antagonist that I rock with is he's number three, well former antagonist ish. Uh, Hama Yujiro. I love Tokita Oma from King and Ashura. Love his character. After that, it kind of becomes a bloodbath. Like for example, I love Kurapika Kurta. Um, even though I'm definitely not, I wouldn't consider myself myself a fan of Yu Yu Hakusho of YYH. I love me some uh, love me some uh, Kurama for example. And then there's plenty. But for most series, I my favorite characters are the protagonist now if it's not it has to be for a very specific reason like either i'm not a fan of the series bleach naruto fairy tale even though i follow things of that nature um my favorite character in naruto is uchi Amara, for example uh, my favorite character in bleach is urahara kisuke my favorite character in ft is it still Zerif? I think it's still my dog, Zerif. The the immortal death god known as Zerif. The black wizard. You see what I'm saying? Um, Toriko. My favorite character is Toriko. Dragon Ball is obviously Son Goku. Uh, One Piece is Straw and Monkey D. Luffy. Hunter Hunter, a series that I'm actually a big fan of, is actually Kurapika Kurta. Right? It's Kurapika. Um, let's see. Fist of North Star is actually Kenshiro. Kenshiro. Uh, One Punch Man is actually Saitama. Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Titan, is not Aaron Yeager. It's actually my dog, Levi. Levi, the fighting genius, bro. Levi, greatness, bro. Levi. Levi. Um, let's see. Astro Boy, rock with Astro Boy. Hajime no Ippo. Makanoichi Ippo is my favorite character. Although I love me some Sendo Takeshi. Little Sendo. Takeshi Wally. If you if you don't read the manga, you don't know what that Wally greatness, bro. Um, when it comes to Holy Land, I'm pretty sure Kamishiro Yu is my favorite character. It, it gets, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's my favorite character. Yeah, he's my favorite character. Um, let's see, let's see what, let's see. Bakugan, all four series, just Dan Kuso, he's my favorite character, he's a protagonist. Uh, Beyblade, the original trilogy, it is Tyson Granger. Close second, of course, is Kai. Um, so, yes, in a most series, the in anime and manga, the protagonist is my favorite character. But, how much, you know, I mentioned the Baku series is, is Yujiro. But the thing is, it's because in most series... The best written character is, or one easily one of the best written characters, is the protagonist. If you don't have a strong protagonist, generally I'm not a fan of the series. Fairy Tale, Bleach, Naruto. Even if I rock with a lot of the elements of the series, or rock with um, a lot of uh, a certain amount of characters. Epo is not the best written character in the series, but there are so many points to his character that I rock with. And because of his flaws, I, I, I feel it's the journey of the young man. Baki has such a great cast of characters that Yujiro, 
I'm a fan of hit, but I'm, I rock with a number of them. And she said, I rock with Yujiro more than I rock with Baki, but Baki's still a phenomenal character. So there went, so it, it's, it's a very difficult, it is very series by series based. And to beyond Luffy and Son Goku, because the impact that they have had on me and how much of their characters I resonate with, every other protagonist doesn't really come close. Oh, except for Takeda Oma. Love me, Oma. That Oma grip, bruh. Right up there with them. At one point, I had made a Facebook a Facebook post in a number of groups. I had said that Takeda Oma, and, and that, that shocked certain people. They're like, whoa, that's a big statement for you because they know how much I love me some Son Goku and Luffy. Takeda Oma, he's on that level too. Well, I like he he might take their place. He doesn't, but he's up there. He's right up there. And so this is my brief explanation. I could go into more in depth, but that's a at a whole thing with characters. It's just that characters for me, it's it's a much more complex nature than that. Um, and a lot of times people don't view characters the same way I do. I come from a literary perspective. Um, the reasons that I have for characters, like for me to full blown give you a list of my top, like it would be a long ass video that I don't feel like making. But I hope this is a good explanation as to at least briefly look into my mind of how I view characters. Um, it, it's the impact of the character on the series. It's the impact on myself. If we're talking about my personal favorite characters, um, it's the impact of how they affect my way of thinking in, in a lot of cases. Uh, it's how well they're written. Um, it's what they, they symbolize. There's a lot of things that go into it. Unexpected one in like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. What are some of your favorite characters? Who are protagonists that you've always resonated with? All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace.